So CSU set itself a 25% reduction target for energy use across its campuses, and that's to be achieved by 2015 compared to the 2006 baseline year. Uh, Bathurst campus is probably our, our showstopper, our, our, our shining light when it comes to contributing to that target. Uh, it's achieved about an 18% normalised energy uh, reduction target to date. There's been a range of different initiatives implemented at Bathurst campus to assist in contributing to that energy reduction. Implementing a university-wide building management information system, lighting refurbishments, um, trialling of LED technologies, probably our most a uh, significant project which was implemented in 2014 is our uh, cogeneration plant which will generate about 65% of all the electricity that's used on this campus as well as contributing to the hot water that we use significantly. When you look at the amount we'll be paying for electricity and gas, if we hadn't implemented those projects we've saved something in the vicinity of about $240,000 per annum. Um, and that figure is, is similar again for our cogeneration facility which we forecast to save us about $247,000 each year. Some of the additional advantages of being proactive in energy efficiency and broader sustainability would be around uh, staff attraction and retention. So I think it's actually our Vice Chancellor who's made mention of the fact that the sustainability targets and performance of Charles Sturt University was part and parcel of what attracted him to this organisation. Energy efficiency often goes hand in hand with the, uh, the how well facilities are being maintained. So we're getting to know the facilities better through access to information via our building management information systems. That definitely leads to reduced downtime um, and uh, better client satisfaction in terms of, of both the staff and the students.